Hey everyone and welcome to my channel and to this video. Today I was thinking I could be painting a water lily and this time I thought I could start with a sketch and show you how I sketched this one. But also if you don't want, if you want to skip a sketching part, you can absolutely do it. And the painting starts at five minutes so you can go ahead and skip to that part but if you decide to stay here during the sketching part well as I said I wanted to show you how I do it and maybe you could practice some sketching also and first I started with the shape of a water lily this one is sort of an oval shape so I just drew the oval shape and from there I'm going in and painting in the petals and I started with the middle one, the larger swan petal, and placed her first. And according to that one, I will be drawing, sketching all the others. And just looking while you do that, just look the size of the other petal. Is it larger? Is it smaller? And just where it, where it ends, where is the tip of the petal, where is the beginning of the petal and just make a, a little dot where you think the petal begins and where it ends and from there it will be quite easier for you to sketch in the other parts of the petals and just go from start from the middle one go on the left on the right and just from there the other ones that are a little bit behind and it, I find it always to be the easiest to start with the largest one that is in the middle because usually it is the largest one in the middle and at least at water lilies so from there it will be quite easier to draw the other ones and just also look is it a thinner is it thicker is it lo longer or shorter than that middle one and going from there just draw in the and sketch the other ones i'm sorry i'm just looking at also this video and i can see now it's quite well i've i did darken it a little bit so you can see my sketch and it's quite light i hope you can see it if it's too light and maybe you can't see it in your computer or tablet or a cell phone whatever you're looking maybe just tone down a little bit the brightness and maybe you could maybe you will be able to see it a little bit more because this unfortunately this pencil is quite light and i did not really want my sketch to be dark also so i did do it quite light i'm sorry i hope you can see it but as always you know this sketch is available for download from my website so you can go ahead and check it out download it for yourself maybe try to sketch it and also you can download it for yourself as a help when you start to paint it you can trace it but maybe just try to sketch it and just when you put it on a sketch you printed just try to compare them and see how far off you are or maybe not off maybe you will be just perfectly it doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine that's not the point the point is to be right at proportions you know that one petal isn't larger than the a lot larger than the other and that center it is in the center so just keep that in mind always when you're sketching your your flowers just always keep them keep in mind where the center of the flower is and all the petals should end in that center you know and just try when you're sketching keep that in mind and when you you can even go on the go go inside those lines maybe you're not finished maybe not finish where those two petals touch but just sketch the entire petal later on you will you will erase it it's not a problem just sketch it maybe the entire and just to see where your petal is ending and or beginning of course and is it in the center maybe that will make it easier for you at the end to sketch them all to be to finish in the center or to begin in that center and i do believe it it will help also when drawing the stem i was also looking where the center is and just going from the center i drew the stem i hope this sketch will be helpful and maybe you can watching it maybe you can just see how i did it and try to do it yourself and keep those things i've told you in mind when you do your next flower sketch you can of course apply that to any other sketch of the flowers 
So for those who are joining us, hello. And for those who were looking at the sketch, now we're going into the painting. And first I've pre-wetted the middle petal and I will be doing that. I will always pre-wet my petal and then go painting, then start painting it. And I will, when painting, I will try to skip the petals that touch and go from one to another that really aren't touching each other because I don't want the paint to bleed from one to another. And when I pre-wetted the petal, I started off with a blue and I won't be using any names of the colors. You can, of course, see the description. There will be all the materials I'm using listed and the colors I will be using. And I don't think you should be bothered with those same colors. Just look at the colors in the same family. You know, if I'm using green, you should use green. If I'm using pink, just use any pink. If I'm using blue, just use blue and don't be bothered with the name of the color. And I started with the blue. I uh, used a light wash of the blue and just uh, go went over my first petal to make it slightly toned, not really painted in any dark color, just slightly toned. And then I painted the middle part with some sort of yellowish green and then the edges with that pink. And I did not draw an entire line, but just let the paint bleed and go all, went also in the inside of my petals from the edge to the inside. And now I'm just again adding a little bit of that yellowish green here and there and also a little bit of that blue again in the middle part. And I will be mixing that blue and pink to get that violet color to just to have the impression of some shadows and highlights in my petals because those petals are actually white and the blue here and mix of blue and pink stands at, as the shadow. I will be painting all the petals in the same way. So starting off with toning it slightly and then adding a little bit of that green or a little bit of that pink to the edges. And as you can see, edges are pink and insides of the flowers are bluish, you know, somewhat bluish, uh, violet maybe, and green. And although those all of those flowers are painted in the same way, I purposely did leave the entire painting and all the petals for you who want to follow it and are not sure what colors to pick in which part of the petal. So I did leave the entire painting part. I always think that repeating and practicing is a good thing. So why not? It is a little bit sped up but I think you can follow it. I think you will get the clear picture. Here I added a little bit of brown to my blue and violet to get that gray color and you can use any gray color you have. Maybe just pick up what gray color you're using. Just pick up a little bit of blue you're used for your wash in the brush. 
just to make it work better with your colors in your painting and I'm just adding on a dry paper this time I did not pre-wet and I'm just adding those little lines to make the impression again of those shadows and maybe some veins in my petals. Also while you are watching this I wanted to mention one more thing about sketching that I did not have the chance to mention while doing the sketch. As I said the link for this sketch for free download will be down in description box so of course you can download this sketch for you and trace it. And the thing that I wanted to say is that I did got uh, from a couple of you the emails or, or messages here or on Instagram that you have having trouble downloading my sketches or that you are having trouble of opening them, printing them and whatever. So I just wanted to tell you there is on my website also a contact form. If you are having trouble with downloading your sketch or any other, other problem with those sketches, just go ahead on that contact form and write me a message and tell me what kind of problem you're having and just make sure that you write me also with which, which sketch you were trying to download. So I will read that and with that, cont in, with that message I will also receive your email and I will of course answer you and maybe send you that uh, exact sketch in email in JPEG. So maybe that will help and maybe you will be able to open it then and print it, print it then. So just if you're having any troubles at all, please let me know. Also, there I wanted again to mention there is a contact form. So if you wanted to ask me anything or need any further explanations or whatever you need or suggest and you don't want it to write it on a in, in a comment box here on YouTube or you don't want to write it you don't have maybe an Instagram account so you can't write it in direct message in Instagram and if any troubles you're having just please feel free to use that contact form it is there so you can use it so you can write me a message and ask whatever you want to ask ask an advice or any troubles you're having maybe with the tutorial you don't understand something or maybe you have any suggestions for me regarding those tutorials just use that contact form I would be very happy and well grateful for any of your comments and advices and I would I always love to help so if you have as I said any questions so just feel free to use that contact form I've noticed some people do use it but most of you probably could just go uh, use the link that I've put down in the description box here go to my website just download the sketch for yourself and don't even look at any other parts of my website but just I wanted to tell you just feel free to use that contact form and I, I am receiving those emails so just use it and contact me with, with whatever you have any problems troubles whatever you have suggestions I would love to help and I would love to you know to answer and especially if you're having trouble with downloading the sketches for yourself just contact me tell me which sketch you're having troubles with and I will send you a JPEG via your email.
this one petal is the only one we are looking inside of it all the others we are looking at from outside and this one we are looking inside of it and it will be actually the most green so I will be using a green color to paint that one and slightly different than the others I did not use that blue to make a light wash but I started off with using a green light green yellowish green to paint in the well the background of the of the flower of the petal and then adding a little bit of darker green and I'm not painting it again in a wash but just adding it in lines to make the impression of those veins in our petal and again adding a little bit of pink at the edges and the lower part the part that is on the outside of the petal I'm painting in again with the green and that pink color this one is slightly different than the others because as I said this one we are looking from the inside and the middle part of the petal I will darken a little bit and add a bit more of that darker green. When I more or less finished with all of my petals, I'm going back and adding a little bit of the details to them, a little bit darker pink at the edges here and there, and I won't be painting the entire line just here and there, add a little bit more of that pink just to make it slightly darker and to make it a little bit more stand to stand a little bit more out and as I said I'll do more details on all of the flowers where I think there should be added a little bit of darker color I will be adding a little bit of darker color I won't be doing any more highlights because I did not paint the petals too dark and I don't want to add any more highlights so I will just be adding those edges with pink and here and there some again the same color I did use previously but to make it a little bit more darker and to have some shadows and right now as I said earlier I'm adding just that green directly from a palette to make that part very very dark and of course as I always do I'm adding a little bit of sprinkles because I love sprinkles and well I don't think the painting is finished without them and it just gives this beautiful touch also to this one and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and this video thank you guys a lot for watching for all your support I hope you like this video if you do please hit the like share it comment and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel and without further ado I hope I'll see you next time bye